Hello, welcome to the Felco Solutions video on windshield index searching. This is part one of a two part video where we'll discuss exactly what is windshield index search or solar and the functionality that is at your fingertips when you have this installed. Index search is actually an open source platform that is also commonly known as solar. And in short, what that really means is that windshield indexes attributes, names, number, text from your documents so that you can search much more efficiently. If you would like to learn more about what solar is itself, I'll put this link and all of the links that you'll see in the video down in the description of this video. Now before we get into what index search does, let's talk a little bit about keyword searches so you have an idea what we're talking about when we get into the functionality. So typically, when you're doing a search in Windchill, and all you have is just the generic uh, searching capabilities, most of us would come in and from either a name or a number standpoint, we come in and say, I want to find this part. And in this case, we'll put on the extension. And here are our results. The difference is, is when you have index search installed or solar installed, you can do this. So I have attributes that is a facility and what you'll find is that I put in an attribute value in my keyword search and then if I go to any one of these pages that you see information pages you'll see that I have a facility that is Omaha. Same thing if I type in part of that attribute. So if I came up top 6061 from a material any parts that were 6061 or aluminum 6061 I would see those results. This is the idea, simple idea, of keyword searches. Now in part two of our video, we'll get into more advanced ideas around keyword searches. All right, let's go back and look at our first functionality for index searching. Spelling suggestions. What this really means is just like you would in Google where you type in some word and it gives you the actual suggested spelling it's the same concept we might have users that misspell a lot of words and in turn it harms their searching capabilities because obviously they're typing in wrong words so the first thing you have to realize is that you have to turn on spell checking and at that point in time the words that are suggested are based on a number of different concepts so let's see exactly how this works so I'll come up here and type in document. And what you'll see is that it gave me a suggestion of document. Now document did not give me any results, but if I go ahead and pick document, it switches the search to that. And obviously I get a ton of objects because a lot of more documents. What about with attributes? I have attributes that are steel in part of the attribute values. I'm going to type in STL, forget the E, and what it will do is suggest, did you actually want steel? I say yes, or pick the button, and then at that point in time, any parts that have steel as an attribute will be listed for me. Pretty straightforward, easy concept. If you have a lot of users that misspell things and then have a hard time finding them, the ability to use spelling suggestions will help them out greatly faceted search. This is one of my favorite capabilities of solar or windshield index search. And really what it is in short is that any attribute that is common among all of the objects that I search through will list in my refine results. And then at that point in time, any parts in this case that are Microsoft as a customer, I can pick my check marks and then only those ones will show in the search results. Let's look at how this works. So I have a search, predefined search, makes it easy for me to get around for videos. Here's my search, and we'll come look at exactly what the search is. It's a CAD document. We're looking in all our contexts, and I'm looking for star.prt star. So all I'm getting is part files. Hit my search button, and what you'll see is I'm going to get a lot of results. Obviously, you put in star.prt star, you're going to get a bunch of results. But what I can do from here is come over and say, you know what? I only want to see the ones created in Atlanta. 
There they are. I only want to see the parts that are steel that are made in Atlanta. And then at any point in time, I can go clear any of these results and go back and say, you know what? Um, actually, I want, let's see, I want the ones that are made by Raytheon. So faceted search is the idea where we have cam common attributes on all of the objects that are in our search results and then the ability to filter them down from there. Very nice searching capabilities. Okay, our related object search. I like this one also. Our related object search are actually based off of Query Builder. And if you don't know what Query Builder is, if you go to Site, Utilities, and Report Management, you have the ability to create essentially SQL queries on your data. Now, you can run these queries outside of Solar, but what's nice about it is that you actually can incorporate these queries from within your searches. Let's see how that works. So I have a related object search. We'll talk a little bit more about it as we go along. If I go back and look at this, I have two different objects that I'm looking for, parts and assemblies. There are specific CAD documents out of this context. I only want the latest revisions. And then I also want to use my query that I created called, I only want the CAD parts that have drawings. That's it. So once I put this into my related object search, what you'll see is I only get the parts and assemblies that actually have drawings. Let's look at that in a little different way. We'll come back, leave it at none, right? No related object search. Do the same search and we get a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff. But if I go back and again, like I said, put in CAD parts with drawings, the only ones that have drawings, you'll see that I am now limited to one, two, three, four, five objects. And if we really dive into it, let's change this a little bit just so you can see confirmation. We'll do star dot DRW star. And you'll see that I only have one, two, three, four, five. And if you look back, you'd see the same name and number for each object. Very useful. The only limit to your report or relate, uh, related object searches is how inventive you can get within query. That's it. You just expose them and you can use them here. All right, the last functionality that we'll see is the idea of keyword and context. And really all this is, is that because Solar is indexing all of our text within our documents, Word files, PDFs, I can go in and type in, let's say a word, an actual text, a word, within one of my documents and it will preview where that term is located in that document. One of the key things here is that you actually have to enable this text preview in a specific view. And so you have to build this view that you see right here or this table to actually incorporate that. All right, let's see how this works. So I'm gonna go back into my edit search criteria and I have, again, just some simple searches that help me get around. Now, the key to the in a uh, keyword in context is that it's coming from a document. If I have CAD document selected, it doesn't work. So I have to kind of configure my search a little bit beforehand. And whether I put in my keyword here or I couldn't put in my keyword here doesn't matter. But at this point in time, as long as document is checked, I get these results. So let's do it here. So I have a document that has all of the NFL teams and their mascots. So the Atlanta Falcons, I put in Falcons, do a search. It comes from a document called Team List. And then what you see, if I hover over this guy, it'll give me the preview of where that object is within that document. Now, it probably could be a little bit better. Maybe give me a line number and a location that helps whittle it down a little bit. But at least I can see now that the term Falcons in this Word document is in between a few of the other texts that you see right here can be nice for our non-heavy CAD users, our casual users at any point in time, to be able to type in a word and find it within a number of different documents. So I hope what we just went through gives you a little bit better idea of what windshield index searching is and its functionality.
at any point in time you have questions, whether it's how to configure index searching, install questions, please reach out to us and we're always here to help. Thank you.